just want to check out that DLC that I bought. Um, because I don't really know what's in it, to be honest, and I'm so curious. So, I might as well show off all of the DLC that there is, because some of it's um, legacy DLC and some of it's not. So, first of all, we get some- uh, I should probably just do it for everyone, huh? First of all, we get the summer uniforms, which are just the- Oops, I'll leave Mona as he is for now. The summer uniforms are just the normal school uniforms. Obviously, now we have them for Akechi and Sumi as well. Um, our Taba doesn't have one, so I'll put her in our normal summer clothes for now. Our... But yeah, we can go around wearing our summer school uniforms if we like. Our, as you can see, it is literally just the things we wear to school. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can take everyone out of my party. Hold on. Um, get out of there. Stand in place and don't move. <laughs> yeah, um, so you can have everyone in their summer clothes. I've just got Futaba in her casuals because she doesn't have a school uniform. Um, although it's, uh, there's a DLC for the dancing game where you can put her in a school uniform. It's great. I love it. Anyway, so yeah, we've got summer uniforms and there's also the winter uniforms. So yeah, again, winter school uniforms as well if you want to have them all wear these as they fight. Um, her hair is up. Hmm. Well, I guess because we're in the metaverse and she has her hair up in the metaverse always, so that makes sense. Er, uh, yeah, you can only wear these in the metaverse, which is a little bit of a shame, but... It's understandable as well. Then of course we've got the casual summer clothes which I've already got Taba in. I need to stop calling her Taba. Futaba. That girl. I love her. Um, yeah. Er, we have all of our summer casual outfits. Er, which I do love very much. Er, yeah I believe all of Akechi- well no Akechi's ones were already there. Sumi's ones are new. Um, but yeah, we've got our summer casual, and we also have our winter casual. Oh, did I put him in his winter clothes instead of his summer? Oh, he doesn't have summer clothes. Oh. You know what? I never noticed that. <laughs> he doesn't have summer clothes. Err. Uh, but yeah, everyone in their winter clothes as well. I love Sumi's ones. Um, I never realized Akechi's ones were winter ones. Um, yeah, okay. So that's fun. Uh, we don't have the new winter's clothes as far as I'm aware, which is a real shame because they're very nice. Uh, we have tracksuits, which I did put everyone in for my last Mementos run when I was getting all the stamps. I had everyone in tracksuits. Um, just because I love the fact that in that scene, everyone is wearing the tracksuits. And this was another free, free DLC. This one wasn't in the Legacy Bundle, but it was a free DLC of its own. Wait, Futaba, no! Why aren't you wearing it? Hold on. There we go. Yeah, now we're all wearing it. There we go. Yeah, everyone has their Shujin Academy tracksuits on. Um, and then we have... You know, I think these ones maybe weren't actually DLC. They're just in the game. And then the legacy DLC goes on from there, I think. I might be wrong. We have swimsuits. Um, obviously not for Mona. Um, the swimsuits are interesting. Akechi doesn't have one. He has one in the dancing game though. He has one in the dancing game. <laughs> oh wait, Sumi has one but not Akechi? What the frick is this? I... Maybe he just refuses flat out to wear one. I don't know. Oh my god, what is that swimsuit, Sumi? Dear god, it's very pink. Uh, yeah, everyone else is just what they wore to the beach um, when we went with Futaba that one time. Yeah, Akechi has one in the, in the dancing game. I don't know why they didn't just give it to us. Um, Ren comes with his loungewear. Futaba also has her loungewear. Um, obviously these two are the only ones with loungewear. Um, so they're the only ones we actually see in pyjama type clothing at any point. Um, so yeah, that's cute. They kind of match. It's adorable. Um, <laughs> and they also have bare feet because, again, this is what they wear for loungewear. Um, then we also have, uh, this is where we start to get into the legacy DLC stuff. So we have the Gekko Kanhai costumes. These are the school uniforms from Persona 3. When you're in battle, they change the music to the main battle theme from Persona 3, which is uh, mass destruction. Um, I, it took me a second because I just remember it as baby, 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 baby. Yeah, um... We have the Gekko Kanhai 
uniforms. And we also, for Mona, for uh, this one, we have the Igus costume. Igus being the technically official mascot character. She's not a mascot, but she kind of is at the same time. Uh, but these are the Gekko Kanhai uniforms. Um, I do like that these are technically kind of modified the, the way that they usually would. So Rigi's got a Lexi t-shirt on. Lexi Dexy. Interesting. Uh, and then An has her, her tights on as usual. And then everyone else is just kind of wearing it as they would. They also have gun holsters because Persona 3. Um, actually, he... He, okay, he has this on his belt, but the girls seem to have them on their thighs instead. Huh. Oh, Futaba looks so cute in hers. Um, yeah, that's that's the Gekko Kan High ones. Er... Then we have... The Yasogami High ones. These are from Persona 4. Um, and for Mona, we have the Teddy costume. Which, again, he's the mascot for Persona 4. Um, oh, I did actually look at the Igus costume. Hold on. Um... Ignore Joker. Ignore him. I forgot to look at the Igus costume. This is the Igus costume for for Mona. Yeah, that, that's certainly something. Um, Igus is is interesting as a character. Um, so this is fine. Um, yeah, Mona needs to be in the Teddy costume. Er, so yeah, for the Persona 4 one, it changes the music to... Which one does it change the music to? Uh, I'll put it on screen because I don't think it's the one that I'm thinking of. I think it's the other one and I can't remember the name of it right now because I prefer the other one. Um, what's it called? Well, either way, these are the, the Persona 4 ones. That's the Teddy costume. Um, yeah, it's a little, uh, yeah. And again, we have, um, Oh my god, they have glasses on! I just realized! They all have glasses as well! Um, that's a that's a thing from Persona 4. His teacher says Junez as well, I love it. Um Yeah, they Oh, her glasses are so dang cute. Oh, I love those glasses. Um I think everyone else is pretty much wearing ones that the characters in the game the game wore, I think. But I might be wrong. Oh, Futaba's ones are green! They're so cute. They're so different from our usual glasses as well. And then obviously Akechi and... Oh, she's wearing green shoes as well. That's so cute. And then of course Haru. Oh, she looks so cute. They all look so cute. Um, all right. Um, and then for the next one, we have St. Hermelin High. I haven't actually played this one. I think it's Persona 2. Um, I've not played Persona 2. I would assume this is the Trish costume. Um, so it does change the music in battle. I wouldn't be able to tell you the name of the song it changes to because I don't know it. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes you just haven't played games and that's fine. I do want to play it. I just, I've heard that Persona 1 and 2, the official releases have really bad translations. Um, so I'm kind of hoping they get re-released. I don't like these uniforms at all. I'm going to be honest. I hate these uniforms. Mona as Trish looks very cute, um, but these uniforms are awful. Like the color is just, oh, it's so gross. Oh, he's wearing his usual casual top underneath. I just noticed how his grin is. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, these are just kind of like, oh, she has a completely different one on. Why does she have a different one on? Hold on, let me check. Did I put the wrong one on? I put the wrong one on. Hold on. I put the wrong one on. There we go. Dress crappily like the rest of us. Yeah, I, I don't like the colours for these uniforms, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but that's fine. We did get a little preview of the next one there, but I'll change into it anyway. We have the Seven Sisters High. Err... Uh, and I guess that's the other Trish costume? <laughs> and I'm thinking this is Persona 1. I might have them mixed up. It might be Persona 2, 1 then 2, rather than 2 then 1, but... Eh. Yeah, we're on the Seven Sisters High uniform. And again, I don't know. Oh, Akechi has a different high school. Akechi has a different high school. Huh. 
Yeah, okay, Akechi has Ka Kasugayama High instead. Um, I'm guessing that's something to do with the game that I wouldn't know about. Err. But that's fine. Err. So these are all the other outfits. Again, Mono's Trish looks very cute. I like these uniforms a little bit better, but they look a bit like tracksuits. What, what does your t-shirt say? Kamen. And then it has a bunch of... Masks? Hmm. Err, and then obviously we have everyone in their different uniforms as well. Oh no, Akechi! Okay, hold on a second. Uh, this is Haru's one, it's very cute. Akechi, what have they done to you? Oh no, he does not suit that colour. Oh no. Okay. We're really in this now, Akechi. Okay, um... Now, we're onto one that I know about. This is from Catherine. This is the Catherine DLC, so... Ren gets Vincent's outfit. Err... Uh, yeah, this is... Catherine is an interesting game. Um... You should play it if you want to know more. I don't know if I'll ever play it on the channel. It's it's a little bit more mature than this game is. Only a little bit to be fair, but... Um... I do like the outfits you get for, for Catherine here. Um... You can get them in the dancing game as well, which is why I already know about them. And again, these were also part of the Legacy DLC. Um, but yeah, we have Ren dressed as the protagonist, Vincent. Um, he actually looks really good in Vincent's outfit, but Vincent has a similar hairstyle, so it kind of makes sense. Mona is dressed as a, a sheep, because sheep have a part in that game. We have the stray sheep in our room as well. Um, Ryuji is dressed as Orlando. He actually really suits Orlando's costume. Er, Anna's dressed as Catherine with a C. She looks so cute um, in that outfit. <laughs> and then we have Yusuke as... Oh my god, I read his name. Johnny! I read his name like two seconds ago. How did I forget? Um, Yusuke as Johnny and then Makoto as Catherine with a K. Um, actually, fun fact, when they were making the game for Persona 5, um, A, uh, Catherine was a test of the game engine that they were going to use for Persona 5, I think. And then B, Sai, when they were making one of the models for where Ren was originally going to stay, they were originally going to have him stay with Sai and Makoto. And they changed his... Uh, and then they changed it eventually. But they had a stand-in for Sai and they used um, Catherine with the K's model instead of Sai's model. Which I find kind of fun. Um, we also have... Er, Haru as Erika. Erika is so good. She's a great character. Um, Futaba as Toby, <laughs> which I love that. She actually really suits the overalls. Um, Akechi as Boss. He actually really suits that outfit. Huh. Um, and then we also have the new edition of... I think this is literally just Rin's model um, that's been put into the game. But it's supposed to be Kasumi as Rin. Um, Rin is the new character they added in Catherine Full Body, which came out last year? 2019. Uh, this is 2021, probably, by the time this is coming out. <laughs> I'm recording this in 2020. Um, but yeah, no, she was in the new version of the game. Rin was. She's so good. I love her design as well, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's just a rip of the model from the game. Anyway, our, now that that's done, Catherine's a very good game. It has Persona 5 DLC in it as well. I've mentioned that before, but it's a very good game. Uh, then we have the Karikozaka Pai outfit. Um, I don't know what this is from. I'm assuming probably our uh, SMT, if I had to guess, which is um, Shin Megami Tensei. Oh my god, it has one as well! Because um, SMT is technically related to the Persona series, kind of-ish. The Personas are in there. Um... SMT game first, obviously. Uh, I don't know very much about it, to be honest, but we have outfits from it. I think these were also in the... What do you call it? Legacy DLC. Uh, we have Hazuma's uniform. That sounds like a guy from Blaze Blue. It's been a long time since I saw anything about Blaze Blue, but... <laughs> that wasn't guy in Blaze Blue. Oh no! Oh, these are cursed. These weren't in the Legacy DLC, were they? I don't remember these being in the Legacy DLC. Oh no, but I remember that outfit. In fact, isn't that the guy who's in the new SMT coming out? Raido? Is that his name? So I think these are SMT things. 
Um, I don't know what the heck they're wearing around their necks. I guess if I played SMT, I would know. Um, I think Nocturne? Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne? I think it's that one that I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, they all, those trousers are cursed. They're actually cursed. Um, they're not as bad as skirts, but oh, I don't like them. And then Akechi has a completely different uniform again. Um, so that's fun. Err, uh, okay. What else do we have? The butler suits, of course. These are also part of the Legacy DLC. Um, they're just butler suits. They change... Do they change music? No, I don't think they do, actually. Um, everything else we've seen so far changes the music, except for the stuff that was already in the game. So, like, the casual outfits and stuff. Um, the Legacy DLC tends to change the game, but I don't think the made ones do. Um, I might be wrong. I don't know, have I ever fought in the main DLC outfits? Maybe? Maybe once? I don't tend to put them on. Um, but this is everyone has made some butlers. You know what? I think I used them in the dancing game a couple of times. Um, Margana is unfortunately for him a maid. Um, I kind of like the kind of candy cane design of them. Of, like for the girls with the red and white. Sumi has a black one though. Wow! They just decided to give up on the red and white for her. They were like, no, she gets a black one. Um, but yeah, everyone else has kind of red and white ones. The guys have just ordinary. Listen, okay, Joker looks really good in his butler costume, but he does not look happy. Oh no, he's, he's still smirking. Okay. I thought he did not look happy for a second. Um, oh, the polka dots are so cute for Haru. Um, and then obviously Futaba as well. And then Akechi. Um, I had him dance in his butler suit a little bit recently. <laughs> Akechi, I mean, in the dancing game. I was using a different costume for Joker and I wanted them to kind of match, but he didn't, Akechi didn't, didn't have one that matched, unfortunately. These are the Christmas outfits. It's not the season anymore. However, let's look at the Christmas outfits. I don't think these changed the music in battle. I don't think. Um, I might be wrong. But hey, we'll have a look at them. It's fine. I do like the Christmas outfits a lot, actually. Err... Uh, I think that's all of them? Yes, okay. So these are the Christmas outfits. They're different from in the dancing game. The dancing game has all of them a little bit different. Except I think for Ren's. I think Ren's is pretty much the same. Um, Mona's is actually also the same. But Ryuji's is definitely different. Um, I actually prefer Ryuji's one for this version of it. The dancing one is a little different and I don't like it as much. Has he got a beard on or is that just his top? I can't tell. He's wearing a mask as well so it's difficult to tell. Um, Ons, I don't know why they've put devil horns on her but they have. Um, oh my god Sumi! Oh that's so cute she's like a snow fairy! Oh that's so cute! I've never seen that one before. Oh, I love that. <laughs> then we have Yusuke. I think his is pretty much actually the same as in the dancing game. Makoto's is a little different from in the dancing game. She's definitely got more belts. My goodness. Um, also the skirt. I hate that. Oh no. Um, Haru's one. She has a completely different one for the dancing game, but I do love her dancing game one a lot. And um, Actually, no, hold on. I might be making that up. She might have the same one. I thought it was a, a dress for some reason in the dancing game. Hmm. Uh, I'll come back to Futaba in a second. This is Akechi's one. He is a monstrosity. <laughs> However, this is him. And then Futaba. I love hers because it's a reindeer with the blood around its mouth. And I love that. Um, in the dancing game, they removed the blood from around its mouth as well as the teeth. And they took out the earrings for some reason. Um, I think they also added like something to her back. Oh! It says Santa's Navi on the back. That's so cute. It just has a heart in the in the dance version, but it says Santa's Navi. That's so cute. Okay. Um. Now that we've looked at the Christmas ones, though, that's out of season. There are Halloween ones in the dancing game as well. And they're very good. I don't think they're in this version of the game, though. Unfortunately. Now we're on to dancewear. This one changes the music in battle. Um. I had it on one time when I was doing Memento stuff. Um. These, I believe, were inspired by Persona 4 dancing. It was before Persona 5 dancing came out. Um, so they use, er, uh, they use, they use, 
I think they use reach out to the truth from Persona 4. I think the other one I was thinking of earlier is Time to Make History, and this one uses reach out to the truth. I think. There's two different songs, okay? It confuses me. Um, but yeah, these are one version of their dancewear. Um, oh my god, am I using the right one for Sumi? I might be using the wrong one for Sumi. I think I've just seen something that is different from what I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, I think I'm using the wrong one for Sumi. I don't think she has a dancewear like everyone else does. Um, we'll keep her in that though because it's cute as frick. Um, so these are everyone's dancing costumes. Mona has an afro. Um, I don't know what the heck is going on with Ren. Suddenly he got bad sense of fashion. Ryuji... Yeah. Um, Anza was actually really cute. I don't know why she's got one leg rolled down. It's like she was trying to dance with them both rolled up and then one fell down. Uh, Sumi's one I think is actually supposed to be what she would wear if she was in Persona 5 dancing. Because um, obviously she isn't in Persona 5 dancing because it came out before Royal. It looks so cute though. Oh my god. Um, I love those shoes and I love that hair tie. Um, the Kota's one's actually really nice. I like her outfit a lot. Um, it says Queen. That's so cute. And then er, Yusuke's one seems to fit him to a T with the galaxy patterns and everything. It's a little bit weird and I love it. Er, I actually really like Haru's one as well. She looks really cute. She has a star on her cheek and I love it. Er, what does that say? I have no idea what her top says. Huh. I'm curious though. Uh, Futaba's one is also very cute. I like the backwards cap. And then uh, here's a catchy with his hero cap. Um, I think he's dressed like this because originally you could only get him when he was being crow detective prince version. So of course he's going to wear something that would kind of go with that, but the hero cap is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting outfit. Anyway. Uh, after that, my goodness, this is taking a while. I'm sorry. We have the Shadow Ops at uniforms. These are from Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Um, I'm not going to explain them because that would necessitate talking about the plot of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. So I'm not going to do that. However, we can just have a look at them and see how cool they look. Also, it uses one of the songs from that game for the battle music. It's very good. It's very good. I do like that music a lot. It's a good game, actually. I've never played it myself, I've just seen it, but it's not the type of game I would be able to play. <laughs> it's by the people who made Blaze Blue. Anyway, um, yeah, these are their, their Shadow Ops uniforms. I like some of them better than others. Um, Mono's one's kind of cool. The guys' ones in general, I think, kind of look a bit weird with the paneling. Um, and then... Anne's one's kind of cool with the red bits on it, actually. I like her glasses. Um, I've never seen Sumi's. Oh, she has like a butterfly ribbony kind of glasses. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, wow. Um, and then Yusuke's, of course. He also has just a similar suit. I don't know why they just have suits. They're boring. Uh, Makoto, she's also in a suit, to be fair. Um, I think they're actually all a bit, like, just slightly tinted with their own colours, which I think is very cool. Er, uh, of course, Haru's. She actually really suits those round glasses. Futaba has a visor and I love it. Um, they all really look good in the suits though. <laughs> like, they all look good in suits. Um, but yeah, that's the Shadow Ops ones. And then we have... Samurai Garb. I think these are from a different Atlas game that I don't know. Possibly an SMT. Possibly something else. I'm assuming Burrows goes with this. Um, I. They were definitely in the normal Legacy DLC. I'm trying to remember if they were in the dancing game. <laughs> no, they're not, but Mona's is. Um, yeah, Mona's was in the dancing game, but no one else's are. Um, so that's fine. I would expect these probably changed the music in battle, but I never wore them, so... They're... They're kind of cool outfits, to be honest. I... Yeah, I like the arm. 
Um, Mona is... He just needs some color splashed on him, please. My goodness. Um, yeah, everyone's not kind of wearing these. I do like these outfits, to be honest. The jackets make it look kind of cool. Um, yeah, I think they're okay. Oh, they have a little pop of color around their necks as well. Oh, I just noticed that. That's so cool. Yeah, I, they're pretty much the same for everyone otherwise, though. Um, quickly moving on to the next one, because this is taking a while. I want to get to the new ones as well. Yumi Ziki Hai. I'm assuming this is another SMT thing. Um, or possibly something else. I'm not really sure. I've not played whichever one this is. Goto, however, that costume is in the dancing game. Um... Actually, that person had Oran. This one has Yumizuki Oran. Goto Yumizuki Yumizuki. I don't know what this is, but okay. I'm, I'm assuming that these are all from the same thing. Are the girls gonna wear one thing and the boys gonna wear something else? Is that it? Hmm. Oh, there may be... Um, gender schools. Imperial uniform? Okay. Um... Yeah, it's possibly girls only school to boys only school. That would make sense. Err. There we go. Oh! Wait, is this Rido? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but these are these outfits, I guess. Um, he has a cape. Uh, he does not suit this at all. It looks way too stiff and formal for him. Um. Also, the girls' ones kind of merge into each other a little bit, like with the tie being the same colour as everything else. Yeah, um, Yusuke's also got a cap on. Why do they look like they're from the 50s? Oh, it maybe is set, like, kind of a long time ago, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I've not played it. Yeah, I'm gonna take these ones off. <laughs> I don't like them. Um, but now we have like, outfits that I know I like. <laughs> So we're getting into the new stuff now. We have the Starlight outfits. These are the outfits they wear in Persona 5 Dancing at Starlight, which is the dancing game that I continue to go on about because I love it. Er, yes, Mona has one. Yes, he needs it because yes, he looks great in it. <laughs> um, I love their dancing outfits. The only one who's got a new one other than Kasumi, obviously, is... Sorry, Sumi Ray. Uh, the only one who's got a new one otherwise is Kechi. He is technically in the dancing game as DLC. But he never got his own dancing outfit, but they made one for him and then put it into Royal, which was nice of him. Uh, I'll just throw her back into her dance wear. And, um... I need the Starlight outfit. There we go. There we go. Oh, I love these outfits so much. Every time I look at them, I'm just like, yes! Um, yeah, they're essentially modified uniforms, but I love them a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I... It's kind of weird to see them not dancing in them, to be honest. Because um, I usually see them dancing in them all the time, but there we are. I do love these outfits a lot. Er, my favourites might be Haru's and Futaba's, to be honest, because look at Futaba, look at how cute she is, her jacket! Oh my god, anyway, Akechi. My god, he's so extra. What the frick are those gloves? They only go halfway over your hands. He has feathers on his jacket. Wow, he's extra. Um, but yeah, everyone else's are all the same as they are in the dancing game. Obviously, Sumi's is new, but we've seen it already. And Mona has a little crown, and I love it. Anyway. Uh, now, the next outfits. There are also ones you can get in the dance game. These are new to the new DLC, though. Uh, it's Velvet Room Attendant outfits. Because God knows we needed them. <laughs> they actually look very good. We have them in the dancing game. Um, Again, except for Akechi and Sumi, because Akechi was DLC. I had to buy him to get him in the game. <laughs> um, it's not like he costs that much money and his song is very fun. Um, our Ultramarine Alpha, Sumi as well. Oh! Oh yeah, no, wrong one. Whoops. And then Futaba as well. So here are the velvet attendant outfits. Um, Mona is dressed as Igor because of course he is. Um, everyone else's outfits are outfits from other velvet room attendants in previous Persona games. A bit like Caroline and Justine essentially. Um, 
which they all suit very well. Yeah, I'm somehow not surprised that Akechi's is just the same as all the other guys. And also Futaba. Anyway. <laughs> um, let's go ahead then and switch over to our next one. This is the one I'm more excited about. <laughs> these are these are the ones I'm really getting excited about. So Featherman suits, huh? I actually really want to know if these change the music. Oh, they probably do, right? They probably do. Oh, I'm excited. I like the Featherman song a lot. Um... You can get these in the dancing game as well. I have them in the dancing game, and I love them in the dancing game. Um, this is just great. So these are the Featherman outfits. You know that TV show we watch sometimes? Yeah, uh, same outfits, huh? I, I love these outfits a lot. <laughs> Mona is a penguin and I love it. Um, and then Simi's is new. I like her outfit actually, the colours make sense. Um, People complain a lot about Makoto's and Haru's being really similar because of the shades. I think they've made the shades slightly different in Persona 5 Royal. The dancing game, they were a lot more similar. Um, there's Futaba. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. She's so tiny. I'm sorry. Um, Akechi. Oh my god, his eyes are red. Ooh. That's... Oh. Look at the, the detailing, the texturing. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> The new ones are always interesting to look at. Anyway. Now, I think these ones are from Demon Souls? Maybe not Demon Souls. Maybe it's another SMT thing. I don't think, no, Demon Souls isn't even by Atlas, is it? I don't know, they're from something. Um, do they have to wear the heads separately from the suits, or? Huh. Oh, it comes with the head and the suit. That makes sense. Okay. I think the other version of it is just without the head then. Oh my god, Mona. Oh my god. Um, I kind of like the suits. The heads are a little unsettling. And I don't really get why Ryan has an entire jetpack. Um, but again, I've never played whatever game this is. I don't even know what game it is. Err, uh, that being said, I'll quickly check to see what the suit is. Oh yeah, it's just the same thing without the head on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Now this last one is what I'm really wanting to see. <laughs> um, this is the new cinema outfit from Persona Q2 New Cinema Labyrinth. This is a DS, a DS game that crosses over a bit with Persona 3 and Persona 4. Um, oh my god! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I love this a lot! Oh no! <laughs> I actually kind of adore this, oh my god. <laughs> oh, her bow is huge! Oh my god. <laughs> They're all just cheapies, it's so cute! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, it actually puts a catchy in his crow outfit as well, since that's the one he wore in that game. Yeah, the only one in our party he wasn't in that game is Sumi, obviously. Um, because again, it came out before Royal. Um, oh my god. I, I'm tearing up, this is ridiculous. <laughs> like a laugh I mean, oh my god. Okay, well, let's quickly change everyone back into their actual outfits, and then we'll stop. <laughs> 